Hello everyone, so welcome to my new video. In this video, I shall be discussing about inductive effect. So I'll be requesting you to learn only five points in it. That is, it is not resonance dependent. It is distance dependent. It depends upon the electronegativity of the group attached, and it travels only through the sigma bonds. Only through the sigma bonds. So let me show you an example that what does inductive effect means. So if I take any compound, that is CH three Cl. So first of all, we see the electronegativity. Now let us see. See, chlorine is an electronegative atom. Okay, with respect to carbon, it is more electronegative, and hence electronegative atom will tend to attract the electron density towards it. Okay. So what we actually see is that it gets a delta positive charge, and it gets a delta negative charge because it is attracting, it is withdrawing. So more electron density on it, and hence it gets a partially negative charge. So this will be showing a minus i effect minus i is when the group withdraws okay so this group shows me minus i effect and this group shows me plus i effect why because it is releasing in this case so let me go to another example i have shown you how to decide on the basis of electronegativity chlorine and carbon which is more electronegative chlorine and hence it shall be a withdrawing group okay let's go to the next one which is distance now how to decide on the basis of distance if i have ch3 ch2 ch2 cl okay so first of all we know that cl will be an electron withdrawing group so hence it will be showing minus i effect okay now but let us go on on to the carbon these will show me plus i effect but what actually happens is which is the farthest carbon this is the farthest carbon this is the middle one and this is the nearest to the chlorine so hence plus i effect will be maximum on this one plus i effect maximum okay so if i ask you that what is the rate of i effect in these three carbons then one is greater than two is greater than three because of the distance factor so okay so how, this is how we decide on the basis of distance now let's go to the next one which is that it only travels through the sigma bond now why it travels through the sigma bond only because if i take a pi bond and we have lone pair or other pi bonding conjugation then resonance can happen but what actually happens is inductive effect is independent of resonance so this is the major confusion uh, regarding these effects so you have to remember that it is independent of resonance and you have to only see through the electronegativity and the distance so these two factors are enough and it travels only through the sigma bonds not through the pi bonds okay through pi bonds resonance can happen so now let's go to the next case which is i'll ask you to decide that which has more plus i effect if i have this compound and this compound and let me take one more ch3 c h h and r i ask you that which of the following carbon shows the uh, most plus i effect let us see see this ch3 will donate this ch3 will also donate onto this carbon this ch3 will also donate and hence electronegativity on this carbon increases and it can give in a better way okay now see delta positive will generate here delta positive will generate here delta positive will generate here and hence delta negative will generate here why because the electron density is going towards this carbon hence this carbon becomes electron rich similarly in this case ch3 and ch3 will be electron donating group but h is not a greater electron donating group as compared to ch3 and hence this carbon will also be having a delta negative but if i ask you to compare the delta negative of the 1 and 2 uh, which carbon is more electron rich the first one and hence it has a greater delta negative so one is greater than two now see here two hydrogens and a single ch3 and hence it has a weaker delta negative than all of these two and hence one greater than two greater than three in minus i plus i effect so if i remove this group let me remove this r now i ask you a basic question that i have put a positive charge here positive charge here positive charge here 
Now tell me is positive charge electron deficient or electron rich? The positive charge is electron deficient and hence it will be needing the compounds which will tend to give electron density towards it. So see this will give the electron density, this gives the electron density and this gives the electron density. So making this carbon electron rich and hence this will be the most stable. So this is how inductive effect is used in the generation of carbocations and carbonions respectively which I'll be discussing in the later cases. So let me go to the next example which is how to decide on the basis of the oxidation state. If I have Fe plus 3 and Fe plus 2, I ask you that which has a greater minus I effect. Now what does minus I effect means? Minus I effect means to withdraw the electron density towards it. Okay, so which of these two is electron rich? I have taken three electrons out of it. I have taken two electrons out of it. So hence more electron rich will be this. I have taken less electrons out of it. So minus I will be shown by uh, Fe plus 3 to a greater extent because it is more electron deficient. It is more hungry and hence it wants to gather the electrons. So minus I effect. So we can say that minus I of greater oxidation state is more so this is the basic logic behind this point let's go to the next point which is dependent on the electronegativity if i have an aldehyde group i take a cyanide group i take an alkene i ask you that which of these two has a greater minus i effect now which of these compounds is more electronegative oxygen nitrogen or carbon see oxygen is more electronegative and hence it will be showing a greater minus i effect so aldehyde will have a greater minus i effect the next point if i take see ch3 ch3 nh3 plus c ch3 ch3 nh2 now I ask you which of these two groups when attached to a particular group will show a greater minus I effect. Let us see. See, you have to decide on the basis of the net positive or the net negative charge. See, if there is a positive charge, what does it mean? It means that this compound is electron deficient and hence it will try to gather the electrons. Now it will try to attract the electrons from the other compounds. So what does it mean? It is extracting from them and hence it is showing more minus i effect this does not need to show the minus i effect because it is not electron deficient and hence the minus i in case of one will be greater than two or we can say that if a compound has positive charge it has a greater minus i effect due to the electron deficiency the next point on the basis of electronegativity sp sp2 sp3 what is the percentage s character in it c how many s 1s 1p so 1 upon 2 into 100 that is 50 percent similarly in this i'll be getting 1 upon 3 into 100 that is approximately 33.3 percent in this i'll be getting 1 upon 4 into 100 that is 25 percent this is basic mathematics so see percentage s increases electronegativity increases so which has a greater electronegativity sp greater than sp2 greater than sp3 and hence minus i effect will be of the same order that is the rate of electronegativity so this is how we decide let's go to the last example which is okay now let me take sp2 and sp2 only if i have a phenyl group i have this thing let me take this to be group number one group number two CH C triple bond CH okay I ask you for the effect of minus I that which compound has a greater minus I effect so let us decide so first thing we have to decide is by the basis of electronegativity so 3 will be greater than 2 and 1 this we can decide but how to decide between 2 and 1 see both are sp2 now how to decide see number of carbons increases minus i effect increases okay in the same hybridization so in this i have two carbons in this i have six carbons so in the net i'll be having one greater than two 
So what will be the final answer? 3 greater than 1 greater than 2. This is the rate of minus i effect. So if this video helps you then kindly leave in the comments and if there are any doubts you can definitely ask me. So best of luck.